the sun. Whoa. That is the uh, the sun rising on the first night after the first night. So that's one night down. Who knows how many more to go? Maybe eight, eight or nine, I think. Um, that was pretty eventful. I got a bit excited going up the Mur, as expected. It's not every day that you get to you get to race up a climb like that. Kind of race up it. Um, and I went over the top of it first and then very quickly knocked the knocked the power back. Knocked the pace back. And then my route took me off some country lanes and I popped back out on the main road way, way behind. Um, but it was it was nice kind of just picking people off for a while. And then I was bombing it down this descent which suddenly turned into a cobbled descent and then suddenly there were rail tracks in front of me at like 45 degrees in front of me and I just I didn't have any time to process what it was really and hit the deck hit the deck pretty hard on my hip but luckily the bike seems fine I should be fine it's just not ideal and also my earphones broke about an hour ago uh, so I'm about to raw dog the transcontinental no music no podcasts, just raw. Footage has been uh, has been fairly sparse today. I'm not gonna lie, it's been pretty miserable until about until about an hour ago and then kind of uh, morale picked up again it was pretty much I mean uh, it has been about 20 hours of riding past farm fields that look exactly the same as every other farm field and rain that will not stop and it's like a drizzly rain it's not like it's not proper rain it's still warm so you can't wear loads of layers to keep dry but oh my god was it worth it this is beautiful I don't know if you can see my face. I just went through a city about 2 a.m. Uh, on the French side near the Swiss border. I just got chased by a, a group of guys in a car throwing rocks at me. They were like actually like speeding around trying to catch me. And then one of them jumped out and like ran after me and started throwing rocks. Keep me awake for a little bit. I'm no mountain expert, but I think those over there might be the Alps. I don't know if you can see that, but they look unbelievably terrifying. They are ginormous. That's gonna be fun. Gatorade. Yum, 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 yum. Not a bad view. This part of the route has been talked about a lot. Kind of the main, the best way to get from Basel to the parkour. The first parkour is a uh, is a road that's down there somewhere. It's kind of like a main artery road that goes straight through through some of the valleys, but that's been closed slash banned. So the second fastest option, maybe not the second best or easiest, is going down this. Now I don't know. That is probably about 10, 15 percent. So I'm gonna have to use uh, both hands for this.
Looks like uh, somebody's had the balls to ride this bit at one point. I think I'm, oh, I'm probably about 30th person through here. Um, maybe a little bit less because obviously not everyone's going to choose this uh, this route. Um, but yeah, you're going to have some bigger, big cojones to ride down here. That's definitely up there with one of the worst things I have to do on a bike. I just went on forever. I think it was about 600 meters vertical uh, elevation, de-elevation. It was like a thousand leg presses with my body weight plus 14 kilos. And this is one of the lightest bikes here. I cannot imagine doing that with a bike that's like 20 kilos plus. Oh my God. I think this climb might be never ending. I've been on it for over three hours now. I mean, the views are pretty spectacular when it's not uh, not raining, but it's just so relentlessly steep. Uh, almost to the top and then downhill to a hostel that I've booked. Get a good like five hours of sleep, I reckon. Good morning. Uh, just rolling out on the uh, on the third day. I think it's Wednesday. I hope it's Wednesday. I stayed in a uh, stayed in a hostel last night. Got a nice five hours of kit, so hopefully well, well, rested enough today that I don't fall asleep. Went over that massive mountain pass yesterday, yesterday evening. Descending that in the dark and the cold and like soaking wet. It took me about 500 meters to get wind chill everywhere. Descended from uh, the uh, the San Bernardino Pass on pot, well, not probably, definitely the best road I've ever ridden. It was incredible. Obviously, I got some uh, I got some footage, but it just went on forever. Oh, it was warm. Oh, just especially after the grim, grim descents I had before that, where I was like freezing to death and soaking wet. Oh, it was just so nice. But it was a bit of a shock getting to the bottom in, uh, in Italy, suddenly in 33 degrees, after being used to uh, like five at the top of the mountain. But uh, I'm on my way to uh, St. Uh, St. Moritz, I think. I've noticed on the, uh, on the trackers, everyone so far, I think there's about 10, 15 people that have gone through checkpoint one, are all going kind of north through the Alps to Slovenia. Whereas my route goes, goes south on the flatlands. Either that's another routing mistake and I'm going to lose another few hours or I'm going to jump up some places. So, you know, we'll find out in about 600 kilometers. Very fresh Thursday. Uh, just leaving Lavinia. I got here at a, into the checkpoint at about nine o'clock, half nine yesterday. Ideally, I would have napped for like an hour or two, and then uh, and then just cracked straight on. But it was so cold. My route basically, I climbed back up to 2,300 feet, 2,300 meters, sorry, and then descend. 30 kilometers the weather was saying that it was like minus two at the top and uh, i just don't have the um i don't have the clothing for that i think that would have been done me more harm than good so kind of took a proper night's sleep 
I think I've probably got about seven, eight hours total in the, uh, in the basement of a hotel, which is very, very comfy. Yeah, now we crack on. I haven't checked to see how many other people have, um, are going to take this southern route across the top of Italy, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Is uh, me topping out the last pass I'm doing in the Alps. Oh, feels good. That was a lovely climb though. A stonking tailwind. Plan is working nicely. Let's go. I'm on the second parkour now. Just at the, uh, I've just stopped at the, the second checkpoint. I think my, my route plan worked out because I, uh, I was the 59th rider through checkpoint one, but then I just rocked through checkpoint two in 59th again. So I've made back that um, basically that nine hours that I uh, that I lost by getting the uh, getting the sleep there. But yeah, I've got this parkour to do. Should take a uh, should take a couple of hours now, and then about an hour and a half to the hotel. I've asked some pepperoni pizzas to be ready for me. I'm gonna swallow them whole and uh, get to bed and reset for the second half of this this fat ride. Good evening, long time no see. Uh, I had an amazing night's sleep last night in a hotel after kind of cracking through quite a difficult shift over the north of Italy. Uh, I think it was, it was pretty quick, but oh my God, I just went on and on and on. Again, it looks like I've gone for a, a different route to everyone else. I'm gonna kind of, I've hugged the coastline of the, the south bit of Croatia. No, sorry, the, uh, I don't know, the bit of Croatia that I just rode down on the coast and then now I'm kind of climbing back into the little bit further away from the coast and I'm going to sit here for 
uh, a little bit longer but everyone else has gone kind of north through Bosnia a little bit sooner so we'll see how that plays out but I'm hoping this way was a little bit less climbing and it's going to be a little bit cooler because it's close to the sea but I don't know who knows done. That was a big old stint, didn't, didn't do much filming because it was on a, a main road pretty much for the last 30 hours. Um, I just, yeah, dragged on quite a bit but got it done. Some nice views but not as nice as uh, like Slovenia and the countries before it. But yeah, not too far now. I think 1500 kilometers, maybe a little bit less. Bosnia. I think I'm only here for a, like a 150, 100k. Yeah, it's been quite pretty so far. Just trying not to get blown up by a landmine. But I want to get my uh, get my head down for this push checkpoint three. Hopefully, I'll get there uh, tomorrow morning sometime. So I have plenty of daylight to get the uh, the parkour done, which is uh, apparently very sketchy. Lots of gravel. Stayed in a very nice hotel last night. Uh, so I've come, kind of stayed at a hotel every two nights. Still pretty good today. My hands hurt quite a lot. Yeah, not too bad. After being lucky for over a week with the wind, it's been pretty much non-existent for the last yeah, just over a week. We've got some brutal headwinds today through Bosnia. Just climbed up through a valley, just being pummeled in the face by wind. And now I'm uh, going over the top of these valleys. It's really weird, the wind just seems to stop for 30 seconds and then get really strong again, so. Uh. I'm in Montenegro. I'm on this pretty rough kind of back path winding up this climb, but it's just nice to be off the main roads to be honest for a little bit. Not in Montenegro for long, only about 120K. So I think I'm about uh, about four hours away now from going into Albania, do the parkour down there tomorrow morning, pop into North Macedonia for a little bit, and then down into Greece for the last brutal checkpoints. You know that scene in Cars where uh, Lightning McQueen rushes the new road and it, oh, oh, and it's just, this is that road. Transcontinental. Day nine, coming up to checkpoint three with uh, just about over a thousand kilometers to go. 
which actually seems like a manageable number now, a number that I can comprehend in my head. I stayed in a very interesting hotel in, uh, in Albania last night uh, that seemed rife with uh, clandestine activities, uh, sort of place where there's a lot of a lot of very nice cars discreetly parked outside that come and stay for a couple of hours, maybe with a, a friend of the opposite gender. Uh, there was also a couple very, very loudly doing their business uh, in the room next to the check-in desk, which was very funny. Uh, I mean, f***ing not f***ing. Um, but, you know, it was 20 quid. Uh, I, they could have been f***ing on the other side of the bed, of my bed, and I don't think it would have affected my quality of sleep. I'm that tired at the moment, so... Uh, not bad. It is a very mild Thursday morning, I believe. Day uh, day 11. Just left probably my final hotel. Really, really slow day yesterday. The roads in Albania are just absolutely brutal. Well, well most of them aren't really roads, it's just gravel. Um, so really slow going. I think I only cracked about like 210, 220k yesterday. <clears throat> and I've been averaging about 350. But just under, or just over 700k to go now. One pretty brutal gravel mountain pass that I'll probably be able to walk over. But apart from that, just lots and lots of hills. So I'm hoping to finish sometime Saturday morning. I'm feeling pretty good. My body's feeling pretty good now compared to what it was a few days ago. My left knee is uh, is playing up a little bit, but it's kind of come and gone a few times now. So I'm just kind of spin it out, and it should be fine. Jesus Christ, I mean, decent view, but uh, yeah, I really wasn't expecting to have to walk my bike up a 2,000 meter mountain pass. Oh, almost there. Pretty late Thursday afternoon now, and I'm just making my way through some winding Greek hills 
on the way to checkpoint four. This bit is uh, it's split up into three different parkours. Now the parkours themselves weren't, or well, the two that I've done aren't that bad, but there was a shortcut across a uh, across a mountain between the first two. It was only uh, it was only about 25 k's, but it involved walking up a 2,000 meter mountain pass. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. I feel pretty broken all over. Obviously, because walking a bike up a hill is a lot more than just my uh, just my legs. Um, but hopefully, I just chill out now. Get to checkpoint four, charge some stuff there for a little bit, maybe have a nap, and then push on in the night when it's a little bit cooler. can't really see anything now but I'm at the uh, the top of uh, the final checkpoint four parkour quite a nice little uh, 13k climb the uh, the actual checkpoint was at the bottom of this climb in a, in a restaurant so I had a uh, a nice a very nice two two and a half hour nap on a cushioned bench in the back had a little bit of a wash as well because uh, it's quite uh, got quite sweaty today, well yesterday, it's about 2am, half 2 at the moment, yeah 2am, um, plan now, drop back down there, straight to the coast, the flat route to uh, the final, um, the final bit of parkour, which is massive, it's like 150k, apparently lots of gravel and climbs, so a nice, uh, a nice fitting finish for this transcontinental, it's hard, it's hard not to let the, uh, the imagination kind of run off thinking about what it's going to be like at the finish but i'm just trying to keep that under control at the moment still a long way to go it's about 500k it is ridiculously hot down here at uh, sea level in greece not that i'm at sea level at the moment but sea level down there um at the top of this hill it's 25 degrees at 2 a.m like this in the uh in the uk would be like peak summer and this is 2 a.m top of the hill The sun has finally set, Friday, day 12. I'm uh, about 70k away from the start of the last parkour, the last uh, 150k. I've been taking today really, really easy. It's the first, like, super hot day. I was gonna, you know, go, go past the villages and the pharmacies and they all have the, uh, the clock and the temperature sign up and it was near, it was near 40 most of the day, most of the afternoon. Um, so, you know, just dip into cafes, hide for an hour or so, cool off, drink plenty of water. I've been stopping for like two litre bottles of water every hour. Um, I just don't want to risk anything at the moment. And uh, I'll try and push through the night and I think I'll finish probably about nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, I feel pretty good physically now, a little bit exhausted. Um, just looking forward to finishing now to be honest.
50 kilometers to go. Um, as you can hear, my bike, uh, I think, is in a worse state than I am, which is difficult to imagine. But I was going to push through last night after pushing through the night before as well. But my, uh, my body pretty much said no to that pretty uh, dramatically. I pretty much had to lie down where I was on the, uh, on the gravel track at the start and slept for I think about two hours, which was very comfy. It means now I'm riding through the, uh, kind of the middle of the day, the heat, which I wanted to avoid, but just getting to the top of this hill and then there's 50K, 500 meters of climbing and I'll be in the, uh, the Greek coast lying down. I'm just very, uh, oh, just tired. Tired of eating, tired of drinking, tired of charging stuff, and tired of riding the bike.